Hello everyone, this is RB. I am sure that you remember in my previous video, I talked about how the difference between message 2 and message 1 determines your marks at the end of the day. If you have not watched that video, I would recommend you to watch it first and then come back to this one. You will find the link to the previous video in the descriptions. So let us begin. I had ended my explanation in the previous video saying that when the difference between message 2 and message 1 is almost next to nothing, you are most likely to receive what you deserve. But how can you minimize that difference? To answer this question, I would like to introduce you to the concept of noise. It is one of the core concepts of communication theory. Whenever there is a disruption in the transmission of message from the sender to the receiver, it is said that noise has taken place. Physical noise talks about distractions that may cause disruptions in receiving the info. Background music, loud perfume, even someone's attire can be regarded as examples of physical noise. Psychological noise, on the other hand, occurs when the transmission of message is affected by predetermined biased notions which might influence the receiver into misinterpreting your message. Physiological noise is pretty much self-explanatory. It deals with health issues that may affect the interpretation of your message. However, semantic noise talks about disruptions caused by the use of language which can cause misinterpretations, bad grammar, incorrect spelling, inappropriate choice of words, everything comes under semantic noise. Semantic means the meaning of words. It talks about the meaning of words. Now, if you use your words in a not so good way, then obviously you will be subjected to misinterpretations. You need to ensure that the amount of noise is as little as possible. Only then you are most likely to get what you deserve. As understood, there are certain things which are beyond your control. They are not in your power. But at the same time, there are a lot of things that are in your control that you can work on to get better at it. You need to ensure that the amount of noise is as little as possible. If you really want to get what you deserve, only then the difference between message 2 and message 1 would be next to nothing. I hope I have managed to give you a different perspective. I hope from now on you would be looking at exams from a different stance altogether. Hope you have liked this video. If you have liked it, click on the like button and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you have not done it already. Thank you. Until next time, this is RB signing off.